Brian, walk us through the track and the timing, if you could. Well, the track is going to be a little bit farther to the east. Now, here's the thing. It intensified back to a hurricane pretty quickly. But you look at Ian itself. It's not symmetrical. It's not very organized. But even when it's in inorganized or unorganized phase, it's still a Category 1 hurricane with winds around 75 miles an hour. The forecast track is going to take it to the north. But the main reason it re-intensified so quickly, two reasons. One, it didn't move as slowly across the Florida Peninsula as initially projected. And secondly, it took a path of least resistance or a little less resistance. It didn't go farther north and stay over land longer. It took a shorter path right across the peninsula, got back over land faster, and that's why we saw the intensification take place. So here's a look at the warnings, and uh, they're all tropical storm warnings, hurricane warnings in effect for the Florida coast up across the Georgia coast, back into the Carolinas, North and South Carolina. Hurricane warning, though, for Charleston. That's where we expect it to make landfall, at least pretty close to that. At that point, winds should be around 80 miles an hour, and there will be a potential for some storm surge as well. The track will take it to the north and then curl it back to the northwest. It'll eventually weaken back down to about 35 to 15 miles an hour as we head through the day Saturday. But during the day Friday, as early as early Friday afternoon, we will likely start to see some hurricane force winds making the way on shore pretty close to Charleston. So here's a look at the storm surge threat. Greatest threat is going to be a little farther north, especially between Savannah and Charleston. That's going to be the most likely area that we see that wall of water, that push of water make its way farther in. So that's something we will watch certainly for the day tomorrow in terms of rain. Rainfall. Some spots could pick up another 7 to 10 inches of rain, especially really close to the coast, a little farther to the north. It's going to be more like 3 to 6 inches of rainfall, but in several locations, that's going to be a record amount of rainfall for the day tomorrow. So a lot of rain again on the way. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.